today's video, we are going to have a fun plenty day with Emma. Good growing. I'm so excited to meet her. First stop of the day is Long Beach Plant Collector, and I'm so excited that I finally get to check out Juan and Carla's collection. Juan had been inviting me to check out his collection for quite some time. So when I found out that I was gonna be showing Emma around Southern California, I thought this was the best time for all of us to check out Juan's very special collection. They literally don't even capture on camera. And that's high. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. I was like, oh, wait till you go in the greenhouse. I, well, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm ready for it. Wait till we go to the greenhouse, like, he says. <laughs> this is enough. I literally... Have, <laughs> have you guys so ever a seen a, a fenestrated dubia? We have a large form oh, and that new leaf. That looks so cool. Wow, this is the whole system that injects fertilizer and insecticide and all of that and just takes care of this greenhouse right here. I'm excited to see what's in there. No. It smells so good in here. It, I recognize it because it's the, the pesticide that they use and it's it's very fresh and clean smelling. Yeah. <laughs> they like certain frequencies, so I just put jungle music. They're loving it. Wow, look at this. Dog walks are like you don't see them in the UK because they're so expensive. That. that looks so good on the screen. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you know, it's it's starting with Carla, my wife. She um she was collecting plants, and uh, she would have over a hundred inside the house. Wow. And at one point, I was like, hey, we we gotta throw these outside, and um. She's like, build me a greenhouse. And I said, no, I want a jacuzzi. I want, in this spot right here, I wanted a jacuzzi with the cover. And she said, uh, no, that makes no sense. Build me a greenhouse. So we like, built her a greenhouse and then we filled it up. And then after that, I kind of took over and said, I'm gonna start collecting plants. And um, ever since then, it's been all, She's kind of like in the sidelines now, and I'm the one that's sourcing the plants and looking for these plants, and uh, yeah. Yeah. I think out of all the plants here, my favorite one is this one right here. Mm. This is this is a, like, it's one of the cuttings from the, the discovery of um, 1961, they discovered this plant in Mexico. What place is it? Uh, the Monstera Steriana. Yeah. So, and then, once this one came to the States, uh, I think they brought it to Balboa Park. Tom Piergrassi is the one that got this one. It's, it it's derives from this one. They're not exactly the same, but it derives from this one. So this one's known as the Hawaiian clone. And uh, yeah, this is the original uh, Sidiana and the Hawaiian clone from Tom Piergrassi. And then we have the uh, Burl Marks Lane. Those wow. three are like, these are here are like my favorite. Your moss pole situation as well, that's mm -hmm. like super smart, just packing the... Yeah, and the reason I did that is because it's, I don't have to cut plastic. Oh, yeah. Mine too. I, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> perfect. The do you use thing, the bamboo? I have one and I love it. The yeah, only thing I'm... it takes a long time to do because I have to sand them, I have to cut them, I have to seal them. So it takes, it's, it's work. labor of love for sure. Uh -huh. Let me get this caramel marble. What's your name again? So I can properly say Juan. Juan. Yes. Juan. Sorry, I'm really ghostly. Juan, what's your favorite variegated monstera? My favorite variegated monstera has to be the large form mint. That's that's. You never know what you're gonna get exactly. You know, with the noise, you know you're very similar to what is gonna come out. 
but these guys, as you can see, it's like yeah. green, then a mixture, a little ghost one, That's green. So cool. it, it's That's amazing. It's always a yeah. surprise what you're going to get. So. Juan's collection is so well-rounded. He has a ton of anthuriums in the back. So these plants are loved and are getting the best care. I mean, down to the music, down to the frequency. They're getting exactly what they need. And here are all of their doc blocks, anthurium michelles. Oh, look at this. Half Moon Beauty. Wow, the whole plan actually is, really is gorgeous. Oh, and I love this variegated by Penifolium. Huge thank you to Juan and Carla for welcoming us into their lovely home. They have such beautiful plants. Juan, you're doing an amazing job and keeping these plants happy and looking so beautiful. Who would love for me to come back and do a tour of all these variegated monsteras? There's so many different types and I'd love to learn them all with you. Check out this variegated coffee plant. What? I was looking at that. I wasn't quite sure what that was. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's called Espalin. Is the, the name? This one's a uh, roqueño. Mm. So this one's um, all right. So well, cheers. Ooh, that's really nice. Very smooth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. No, thank you. Thank you. you. Okay. Stuff, but for the most part, the plant shops are um, like more basic stuff. Your content is like indoors. Tool with petodendron. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> Field trip to plantitas. These are $45. That is so good. Should do like an event. Oh, I love that one. Mm. That's good. $25 isn't bad for a belly tie. Have they gone down in price? They have, yeah. yeah. How much are they over there? I feel like they're fairly similar these days. All yeah. the Amphioxus. So cool. Is that the begonia type? Mm hmm. Look at the bat flowers, these taco chantrieres. Good to know this is where I need to go because I've been obsessed with these little bat flowers. I also love this. Looks like a giant cocodama, but it's just a moss, like a moss pot, huh? That's pretty. Is that a tortum or a polypodiodes? It's nice. It's and it's stunning. It's, it's two polypodiodes next to each other. Wow. Yeah. On on twenty five. <laughs> that's okay. And I mean, 65 for the little one. Okay. Which is, that's way more than what it would be in the US. You can mm -hmm. get one that size for like 10, 15 pounds these yeah. days. I find. 190. <laughs> she's like, she's like, <laughs> welcome to California. <laughs> So interesting. This is my first time seeing a Milano Chrysum this big. The leaves like this long. And the price is $75. That is like the downfall of a plant. That's another like interesting plant to Milano. follow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gone down in price so much. A lot. These more, the leaves will come out much more like this as opposed to like this. So I feel like this mm. is very Warquiani. Yeah, kind of reminds me of the, um, the peperomia you were showing me too. Yes, definitely. So when, when we have Milano Chrysum, they do end up a bit more like this. I feel like this is a very special one in its leaf That's form. That's pretty. It is. But I hate Milano Chrysum because I suck at growing them. Same. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> is, this, is this a lie? <laughs> It's, it's, I think it's just, it's, yeah. it, that's it's shtick. <laughs> yeah. 
but it just looks like all of the leaves haven't come out. <laughs> I've never seen a Manjula Pothos for sale here. Like in any store. Oh, at any store? Mm hmm. They're quite common in the UK and they grow big. Really? So they I'm say not for sale, so they seem to want to PI is becoming more common? Yeah, UPIs are definitely becoming more common. Uh, and like, they're still not cheap, but they are they are coming more into fashion at the minute. They're cute. Yeah. I mean, 65 though for this little one. They're, they're, I think they're cheaper mm -hmm. in the UK. In the UK. But only just, only newly. Yeah. I think it's really interesting asking, you know, what's common in London and what isn't. And surprisingly, you know, we have a lot of similarities. Oh, what is that? Anthurium corallinum? Wow, that's pretty. Kind of reminds me of like a rugosum. Yeah. Come inside. It's nice in here. There's so many awesome plants, but there's some that I wanted to highlight. Look at these. Are these not the cutest plowmanii? I almost didn't recognize them because they were so small. Cute. Look, and it's already starting to crawl. So you can totally see its growth habit. It crawls along the floor. So pot accordingly. Look at this, Philodendron columbia. So pretty. Okay, philodendron snowdrift. I feel like this used to be like really rare, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm just gonna intrude in your video. Please. Hello. <laughs> um, they they've definitely gotten more common lately, mm -hmm. but yeah, in the, in the UK, you wouldn't be able to get one for less than this. Yeah, Easily. I'm just surprised. I don't know, like, I, I thought it was up there with, like, the Whipple Way, yeah. you know? So it reminds me of a Whipple Way dupe. So if you want a Whipple Way and you can't afford it, get a snowdrift. <laughs> Baller on a budget. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at this. That is so pretty. Oh, my God, the new leaf on that. It's, it looks so tender. Like, I, I don't want to So there's some inflorescence coming in. Oh, that's so nice. One big berry. Look at that one Ooh, big berry. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> big berry energy. <laughs> Anthurium Michelle. Isn't this so pretty? I feel like that's what that's what they're supposed to look like. That's like the iconic Michelle look. But yeah, of all these plants, oh yeah, look at this. Of course, the variegated BATA is a showstopper and it's three thirty eight hundred dollars <laughs> but Denise said it said it well and it was that the philodendron polypoidioides is the most impressive plant in here that's so beautiful Isn't that gorgeous okay I'm sweating in here let's go outside Ooh, this is a new Fetonia. Fetonia Snow Anne, I've never seen that. This reminds me of like the white version of the Fetonia Frankie. Cute. These are $5 each. I love that. Oh, look you guys, they do have some beautiful Maranta Silver Bands here. Oh, and what is that? This is a pretty Calathea. Calathea Bella Carlina. Have I met you? I don't believe I have. You are gorgeous, girl. The Calathea is $28. Oh, I want to buy this, but I'm kind of embarrassed because I feel like we were just talking shit on Calatheas. This is pretty, though. I feel like I'm good with Calatheas. But also, like, Emma can't buy any plants, so. Ooh, look at this. They have some ZZ Zenzies. 
crazy that you don't really see like ZZ Zenzi out a lot. Oh, no. It's true. So it's cute. Look at this. This is the Anthurium Big Red Bird. Someone was asking about the color of the inflorescence of the bird's nest Anthurium. And yeah, there really isn't much to them. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Oh, they got some cute pots. I've always wanted like a proper disco ball pot. They have them here. Larger ones are 55, middle is 39, smaller is 25. Kind of need all three. These are cute too. Check this out. This is a painted lady that's not so painted. It's like so old. <laughs> this is how you could tell though. The new growth is... It's cute. I've never seen one so big. having so much fun just like walking around plantitas but my mind keeps going back to this colathea of all things but I've never seen one it's so cool the leaves that look like pretty succulent they're not as like paper thin as other colatheas too you know what I proudly like love rookie plants like buying colathea is a rookie move I know but I, I like it Hey Emma, have you ever seen a Calathea that looks like this? It's like network and like Leopardina or something. Yeah, it's like, it's but a I yeah, I've never heard of it. Calina. I've never seen anything like that. It's really cool. You can get it? I think so. <laughs> Benito. He's so handsome. Huge thank you to Kevin and Anthony of Plantitas. We had so Bye, much Kevin. fun. Uh, that was so much fun. So much fun. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, thank you. That was just amazing. Fun planty day. And I suggest you follow Emma at Good Growing, uh, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. All of the above. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. If you like this video, you know what to do. Please throw me a bone. Give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my plant videos, come plant shopping with us. Hit that subscribe button. I can't wait to see you in the next video. I just don't want to miss you too much. So if you could show me some love in the comments and I'll meet you there. Bye. <laughs> Something about you, baby, that makes me feel complete. Money's meant to be fighting alone. That's why I'm taking you home. I never felt something like this before, no. Coming back for your time at the time. Maybe I'm losing my mind, but I know I'll never leave you behind, no. Baby, I got you. When you feel like falling, I'll be there to prove. Baby, I got you